There is no glory but God. Glory comes from the word noble. Noble means great, can mean big, high value, very high quality. So no glory but God. Once a man came to Jesus and said, A good teacher, what to? I do that I may have eternal life. Jesus responded, There is nothing good but God. It is the same as nothing but God. If we believe today, then in this life all we are looking for is God. Don't turn around. Seek the world by using God as a tool. Strength and means. We have to use whatever is on us. All the potential abilities. Treasure money to find God indeed found God, not something easy. So don't feel, have found God, just because, already religious, to church already praying. Finding God means, fellowship with God, become one, with God, in pounds in God. This must be fought, because we can't be one bond with God cannot exist in communion with God if our character not balancing with God the glorious God can only ally with a noble human being the Holy Spirit will help us to be a noble human being have the attributes of God tenderness mercy purity and other attributes of God. This is the original design of God. Make man in the image and likeness of God, but the fall of man into sin. Man loses his glory, lost something of value. The only thing worth it is God. Man cannot be like God. Humans are not can have the attributes of God and this is what it refers to loss of glory for there is no glory but God salvation in the Lord Jesus Christ was about to return humans to be a picture and similar to God which is the same as that man may find that glory and that glory is nature or character from God dear mother and father in the Lord so how can we find in that glory if we find God how can we find God if we are bound in communion with God and it's not just coming to church singing praising God but rather every moment of life in the presence of God, every moment of living in communion with God. This thing should really be fought, because it changes the character, disposition of our worldly nature, the flesh, which has been polluted by the world, exposed by sinful traits. Not easy, because sin is attached. And it was almost as if, be ye apart, that blends together, inseparable, integral part, inside of us. But nothing is impossible for God. The Holy Spirit helps us, so that we can keep growing, to put on the divine nature, separating the flesh man, and man of the spirit, then make our flesh man shut down that man our spirit may grow strong or with another sentence that Christ Jesus be in us we must not waste a precious opportunity don't waste time mind power or things that are not noble so if the Bible says what's the point of people getting all their life if his soul perishes all life, the whole world, 
less of what? Because this world is not something of great value. Not something. Your Majesty only God. We only get glory in God. Be a loving father and mother in God. Don't let us. Wasting time, mind power for all things. That was futile and has no value. We are grateful to get this warning. Before going on with the day of our lives, before getting through the week, the months, and the years ahead, we are equipped with this word. Look for it first. Kingdom of God and its truth. What is the point of a gain all the world if his soul perishes? So we have to keep this in mind. We seal in the soul our hearts and minds that know there is a noble one except Allah. No one is glorious except God. So something that could very well reason for or when the psalmist says there is nothing on this earth but you and it's no exaggeration that Paul also wrote mind and all think the above not the one on earth think of the above where Christ is sitting at the right hand of God the Father think of God find him living in communion with God. This becomes our happiness, which is like a blazing fire. In our hearts, like a ship's steam engine, that drives the ship, our steam engine, that passion to find God. So if we pray every morning, it's nothing special, it's common. People from morning till evening, and from afternoon till morning again looking for money. It's amazing, because money is considered noble, valuable and valuable. If we don't, we are indeed hard work, diligent but not providing our hearts for God. We do everything just because we want to grow perfect, have the nature of God, can fellowship with God and this becomes our eternal supplies dear father and mother in God the truth at this time Lord Jesus bless